What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and this is Time Loader out now on the PC for a price of 15 bucks. As always, full disclosure, they sent me a copy. This is a 2D physics based platforming puzzle type game with a heavy 90s nostalgia vibe. Let's get into it. They put out a prologue last year during the Steam Fest. This is a bit after that particular demo, and here we are on our business. So, it is obviously on a 2D plane. I'm this little time-traveling robot. And uh, number one, any game that has their time machine inspired by Steins Gate, I am 100% on board with. And any kind of 90s nostalgia, I'm also pretty much on board with. And also anything that kind of recalls a Trials-ish, you know, in the 2D platforming vein, I'm going to be on board with. So this game is pretty much my jam. Like, 110% my jam, and I'm enjoying it quite, quite heartily at the current time. That could change, but right now, man, in the first, like, 45-ish minutes here, this is awesome, and I love it. So, very story-heavy, very linear, but what it does, it does real well, and they've done an amazing job capturing that essence of that time period, and also just, it controls well, it feels good to play. Which, for this kind of a game, you need to have. It is essential. So, back in the attic, and exploring this attic. So, right now, what's been happening is that I sent back my little buddy here in time to change the past. And that means hopefully I won't get into a wheelchair from a horrible, horrible accident. But, 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 so far, I have changed that past twice, and it has not actually fixed the problem. It's just gotten things, you know, even more complex where you change it, but it's still... As they say in Chrono Trigger, the future refused to change. So, so far, that has been the case here in Time Loader. But, very basic puzzles, but it's just, they feel good. Like... That thing's super complicated, and you can kind of, you know, get a good feel for what they have to do, and you just do it. And it also just works out for you. So, I've had, no, so far, no issues with the actual gameplay components, and it's just enjoyable. And I've been enjoying it quite a bit. So, let's go scare this cat now. Because of my accident, there's that cat, when I was a young lad. There's the cat. How can we scare it away? A good question. There is a balloon. And what is that going to do? Can I pop the balloon? Ah, so here's the thing, right? Is I have the option to throw things. So I can now hopefully... I can't aim that high. So that's a problem. That's a problem. So if I get the balloon down and I trap it, perhaps like right here then maybe, just maybe, I can aim this little dart and make that happen. Or, I can jump and do it like that. As far away from here as possible. Thinking, man. Thinking, thinking, thinking. You love to see it. So I must continue chasing this freaking cat, man. But yes, uh, there is a whole map here in the house, in the layout. And there are definitely nine things to unlock and take... In terms of secrets, that I've only found one so far. So, there is some depth in that. But, I guess my only real concern is how, lo how long this game actually is. You know, that's always the concern with these kind of games, where it's very nar narrative heavy. And, in that kind of a focus, like, how long is it? But, even then, even if it's not super long, like, if what's in here is good and enjoyable, then it's worth it. So, alright. You don't want the cat back inside. And can I fall in here? Can I? I can. Okay. How do I deal with that cat and his abeardness to scare him further from his nonsense? But yeah, this is cool. Like, this is just... I played the prologue last year and thought, man, that is a cool concept. I dig it. I'm hoping it's good in the full game. And so far, it's been pretty good in the full game. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. So, 
Uh, hopefully it keeps on being this level of quality on what they've done here with this game. But yes, just very fluid controls, very enjoyable. There we go. Calculating divergence. So here, here we go. No. You need to chase the cat even further away. I want to know what happens now when the cat gets chased further away and this, for the third time, we change the future, but not really, because I still have the accident with my abiness. So, it is usually pretty clear on where to go, but not always. There is always some kind of a, hey, there are still things to do here, maybe. Um, but you get upgrades. I've gotten a, a screwdriver and a jump spring and that kind of business. So there are, you know, you, you, you don't start with, with all this gear. And so it does progress like that. But I'm very curious to see where things go as we find a route to the garden to scare that cat. But yes, all of the just environment objects here, the totally not an IBM, it's an ICN, it's an IBM tower power supply. Like, there's a controller for a Super Nintendo that looks very, very almost, um, almost lawsuit worthy of a model of controller that looks really, really close to the SNES. Uh, so hopefully that does not get them a lawsuit, but, you know, there's that. Anyhow, we push, we pull, we make this basket go somewhere that is not where I need to be. Being observant will get you everywhere that you need to go here in this game. So just be a little bit observant of your surroundings uh, on this little house deal. And this computer here needs some fixing. A floppy disk. Fun fact, the original five and a quarter floppies were actually floppy. The one that you think of as a floppy is actually three and a half and they're hard plastic. But the name stuck as a floppy disk. Anyhow, that is a fun fact from my childhood. Uh, all right, what's the grabby thing here? What's the... I see an X there. How do I get up there? Can I go on this lawnmower? I can. Oh, remote control on that. Hey, cat. Vroom, vroom. Oh, no, I'm stuck. I mean, but am I? Am I really? As I scare this stupid cat away from hopefully further damaging myself. Oh, nice. Wait, does that mean I can actually move it forward now? Is that going to be the case here to move this olive oil outside? Okay, sure. Yes, it is. Again, thinking, man. Thinking, thinking, thinking. And it just kind of has a very m melancholy feel to it, which I also kind of can appreciate through that lens of nostalgia. That it's, it's very kind of low-key sad. Which is fine. Um, that's kind of the vibe here. And hopefully, a happy ending. But... I have seen, at least on some channels, uh, putting up videos, that, 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 that there are, perhaps, multiple endings of this thing. So, that'll be curious. And we swing, and we do our physics thing. And it's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. So, highly recommended from ya boy is Time... That was Act 1. Is Time Loader. Oh no! My screwdriver! You stupid freaking cat! You stupid freaking cat! I can't believe that. So here's the... He got the kite. The cat didn't attack him. But, what does that portend for the future. So, getting the cat out of the house? No cat. Okay. I was just sad. Like, look, better to be sad than to be in a wheelchair. All I'm saying. Act number two. I'll play a little bit more here and then call it for the video because you've seen kind of what this game is and what it does. And oh no. That's not good. We're in the far-flung future. That's definitely not where we want to be. Uh, all right. The attic looks weird. Something must have happened in this timeline. 
Well, let's find out here with an audio log. Ugh! Why doesn't Dad trust me? Science is dangerous. No science fairs for you, Adam. But I'm gonna run away. And go to the science fair anyway. I'm gonna be a great scientist. Tomorrow's the big day. Looks like Adam has been butting heads with his father. What happened between them? Il Sai Kongru. Anyhow. X. So yes, same attic and same materials, sort of, but also timing-based jump puzzle. Make it! Just barely. Just barely. So yes, Time Loader is indeed out now on Steam, I think, coming at some point to consoles. But right now, only on PC and definitely on Steam. I think also GOG. $15 with a launch week discount. I think it is top tier and well worth playing. It is quite, quite good if you like 2D physics-based puzzle platformers. House looks awful. And also it's some 90s nostalgia, uh, which is pretty good, if I do say so myself. The map is still the map. It's the map. I am your host, what a tax slug. It's pitch black. Have some great American cookies. Hopefully the circuit breaker is still in the laundry room. And that old school 80s cell phone. I'll see you next time. Right here. More videos. And I'm out.